Each year, 200 young Australians make it to this place. They're the ones who decided they want more from their apprenticeship. More than being sent to find a left-handed screwdriver. More than mopping the floor at the local garage. More than a city trade. More than just a trade. They've joined the army. When they leave here, they'll be soldiers as well as trades men and women. With lives, theirs and their mates, depending on how well they do their job. They'll be different, more self-confident, more mature, more skilled. Some of them will make a lifetime career with the army. Some will take their extra skills back to civilian life. Either way, they're winners, and they know it. But no one said it was going to be easy, because they're soldiers first. And as soon as we stepped off the buses, we had the RSM barking at us, you know, yelling right at us, you know, telling us to form up, and it was a big shock. And then just the uh, first four weeks of the induction training, I was tr trying to get used to this place, a bit of culture shock sort of thing. Desert! Right. By your right. Hello! Out! Left! Learning to do things the army way is a necessary discipline that makes the system work. It can be tough for some people, doing what you're told when you're told, especially if you're not used to it. You're kicking your toes up. Point the toe down towards the ground. Hunt William, point the toe. Move, heads up. Straighten your arms, Hodge. Because I came here when I was 18, I thought, I sh you know, I'll be treated like an 18-year-old and I'll be allowed to do more, what I want, but that's just not the case. You've got to live to the strict rules. Right, look up. Detail instant in your own time. Go on. First thing in the morning, you um, wake up, get out of bed. Uh, those who have showers in the morning go and have them, have a shave, clean up. Then they start cleaning up the common room, vacuuming, dusting. Uh, the cells, or the shower and lavatory block, make their bed, and they'll go to breakfast. And it sounds like a lot, but after about three, four weeks, you get into a routine, you can do it in no time at all. Oh, physical training is really hard. But you take the good with the bad, and after the bad's finished, you don't worry. Because you make a lot of friends, and they're really supportive. Morning, Fred Street. I'm in Sergeant. Well done. Excellent. Thank you, Sergeant. Of course, you've done some work at Prince Street. Yes, Sergeant. Filthy. You need more training at Prince Street. Um, see you tonight. Yes, um. Well, Trace did it. Apprentice hey. Atkins. Sir. Apprentices Ball. learn to become part of the army and to respect its traditions Ball. and its ways. They discover their weaknesses and their strengths. OK, first rank, a rope climbing, begin. That way go to your rank. This is a method. Knees up nice and high. Good technique for the supporters from the end. Training like this is part of the course, and this is where all the hard physical drill and discipline start to make sense. Oh, 
Out in the field or out on a limb, their lives and the lives of others depend on how well they've been taught and how well they've learned. Create the mood and theme for your wedding with a bridal gown from Chapeau Models. Mother can choose from a large selection of frocks, suits and hats with satin shoes dyed to match. Second weddings are a specialty and men's suits are selected to complement the bride and bridesmaids, whether formal or... Oh, I reckon it rates better than um, civilian uh, apprenticeship. I've got a friend of mine from home who's um, he's in his second year, the same as me. We work on um, just about everything. Uh, right through from diesels, right through the small engines, everything. Whereas the best of time you go and see his garage and he'd be there mopping the floor or um, sweeping the floor, you know. It's the most experience that he gets. Well, I wanted to be a motor mechanic. I decided that last year. And um, for a female, it's very hard to get an apprenticeship uh, in Civilian Street. So I applied for the Army and I made it in, so I joined. Girls can take up apprenticeships as motor mechanics, fitters and turners, and in electronics. These are the trades where they won't be involved in combat, but they are taken just as seriously as the male apprentices. This is a team effort, and no one gets left behind. The guys really help you through. If you're having trouble with something, and you just can't do it, say something's too heavy, they'll be the first ones to come up and offer to do it for you. Or... But then you do get some that are a bit chauvinistic and think, oh, females shouldn't be in the army. And you, you get a few like that, but you learn to live with it. All you have to do is wind the table back out one millimetre, just to clear, it, clear the job from the cutter. You make a lot of good friends here. I've got a lot of male friends because there's the ratio, because there's about 480 males to about 20 females. Uh, from the guys I've talked to outside, my mates and that, some of the training that we're doing is a lot more advanced, it's a lot more in depth. The teachers here are really good. I want to go on later to become a mechanical engineer and this is one of the ways I can do it. And since a kid I've always liked the army so I decided to come in. It's really high standards like 
it's higher than the outside apprenticeships from what we've been told and from what my mates back home have told me. Here in our system that we have, we've got our product load, which in this case is our stubby of 3X. Um, I've found the course the good. i found the instruction good. Um, I've learned a lot. A lot of it depends on how you want to pick it up. Like if you don't want to work, then you won't pick it up. No one's really going to tell you to work all the time. It's up to you. But there's a lot of good things you can get out of the course. What's the problem, Igor? Too big as fair. You got a smaller one in your box? How about you get one instead of that big butch thing? Have you done this um, before at school? No, sir. Well, this is excellent work. Make sure that you get this number in the centre here, OK? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, I can't see much wrong with it. If you can do the same on your next drawing, you've passed the unit. OK. OK? Yep. Good. Thanks very much, sir. The electronics course prepares apprentices to work with some of the most advanced electronic systems in the world. The experience they gain here will be relevant right across the board, civilian and military. It's sort of the thing of the future, electronics like computers and radar, so it's a pretty good investment for the future. This is the rapier fire unit, two missiles on this side. As soon as I leave apprentice school, I'll be going onto a course to uh, sort of get a wider range of electronics, more in optics and lasers sort of thing. For, that'll be a three-month course. And then probably two years after that, I'll be on another course. You're just forever doing courses, all part and parcel of it. You, know, you might do a two-month course here or a three-month course, but that's just widening your skills, so it's pretty good. Young people get hungry. The army acknowledges that by giving apprentices larger rations than other soldiers. Like all soldiers, apprentices are paid from the day they join. Apprentices' school has plenty to offer after work. Fitness plays a big part in the apprentices' lives, wet or dry. Tuesday night is club night. Everything from squash to weight training, self-defence and stamp collecting, to the school's own quiz show, run by the apprentices on closed circuit TV. But the army recognises that for many apprentices, it's the first time away from home. Sometimes they need a change of pace and someone to talk to. Know, with the chaplains and stuff, um, even your officers. Now, the traditional every man provides a centre, a drop-in centre, a place to get away from the normal humdrum, the authority, the orderliness of the base, and relax, put his feet up, play table tennis, pool, watch television, talk to somebody, and just feel as though they're at home. It's good to have you fellas here this afternoon, um, especially early in your in your time in. Uh, Combined you know, church services are held in the chapel throughout the year One of the and each Sunday there are Anglican, uh, other Protestant well, all, and Catholic services. And the other thing is that with us chaplains you're more than welcome to come over to see us whenever you would like. There's full backup for injury or illness. Okay? Doctors yeah, and nurses at the base hospital are on the spot. 
So is the dentist. Okay. Tuck jumps, please run up the chest. That's the idea. Press up, chest the ground. Right down, body low. Throughout the working week, the school program is structured to balance individual activities, trade courses, and military training. On the next whistle blast, you will go to the next exercise and adopt the start position. Let's go. Push it out now, push it out. What happened to the bird, please? Use your legs. Be up high. Get up there. After the first few weeks, local leave is granted most weekends. Here you go, Pauline. Oh, thanks very much, baby. First year apprentices may have a local family to visit. Sponsor families arrange through the school who offer somewhere to stay at weekends and a home atmosphere in which the apprentices can relax. I got really greasy and dirty. I had to pull a gearbox and a clutch out of an international truck. Then I had to do a serviceability report on it and then replace it all back in again. I ended up really dirty. I just do my own thing really on weekends and please myself really. <laughs> Oh, I'd just work on my car and, and um, see my girlfriend. For the older apprentices, there are the local pubs and discos. Tanks for the 21st century. Last improvement over last week. Monday is the commanding officer's parade, bright and early. Then work starts again. Oh shit, it's on! Yeah, wanna see how that's better down there for me? About the fifth time. I was 15 when I joined, straight out of year 10, and I just turned 16 this year, so I'm the youngest in the turn. When I first got here, it was pretty hard. Well, I found it easier than other people, because uh, other people are older than me, and they sort of left home, left school, and they sort of run their own, running under their own steam. You don't have to worry about going looking for a job after you finish your apprenticeship. You also know who your bosses are. Yeah, I'm glad I joined the army because it's uh, secure. Job like if I went with a, a civvy uh, builder or something, their job could have, you know, their business could have fell, fallen down, you know, went bankrupt or something. But here, the army's no way going to get bankrupt. We're well, not in the next 20 years or so. You're having bloody cleanest boots in the mess, Mudgy. After completing the first part of the course at the Army Apprentices School, apprentices are assigned to an army unit. They may also be seconded to civilian contractors. There they work alongside civilian apprentices and with qualified tradespeople to gain experience on a wider range of projects. On civvy sites they work the same hours as the other tradespeople but continue to live in barracks, attend weekly parades and do their fair share of guard duty at the base. Yeah, we do get a lot more freedom. Because here you work 7.30 to 4.15, and then so long as you're at work the next day, you're laughing. It's a lot more like on the job training here. Yeah? More practical to our job as fitters in the Army, because we get to see all the different varieties of equipment the Army's got. At intervals throughout the trade training, apprentices sit the TAFE exams for their trade. Once they've passed those, they can go on, at the Army's expense, to gain further trade, technical and tertiary qualifications. If they're keen, they can apply for officer training. Well, I'd like to go to officer training so I'm become an officer, but if I can't, I'll work my way up the ranks and hopefully I'd like to be here for 20 years. 
Well, I've, I have applied for RMC and I had a selection board the other week. Uh, I'll find out in four weeks' time about that. And if I'm successful, I'll be marching into Duntroon in January. In itself, an army apprenticeship provides trade qualifications recognised Australia-wide. But it goes further. Because apprentices become soldiers as well as tradesmen and women, they learn leadership and teamwork. Qualities which can take anyone, anywhere, anytime. Keep going. Watch your foot in the water, man. Push with your leg. That's it. Lift yourself off the rope. Oh, you must be kidding. <laughs> Keep going, mate. Keep going. Push with yeah. your legs. Don't lose your momentum. Oh, shit. Keep going, Sam. Not there. The water might be contaminated, but... Keep going, Sam. Come on, Sam. That's a dream. Come on, keep going. Keep going, Sam. You all right? You all right? Go, go, go. Come on, run. You can nearly reach it here. Yeah, a couple more bites, see, and you're nearly there. Come on, Sam. Come on, Sam. That's, that's it. Away, good girl. Come on, Sam. Come in here, you've got to catch me. Take the rope. Come on, Sam. Good more. Nearly good there. Another bite. You can go Just remember, lock in with your legs when you get onto the rope. That's enough. Now I want you to cross your legs. Grab the rope, Sam. That's it. Come on, you're right. Hang on with your legs. That's all you want. Good girl. Grab hold the rope for you. That's it. Hold on to it, Sam. Hold on with one. Bring your legs down to the vertical. That's it. Now hang on with your hands. Hang on tight. Lift the rope out of the water. Come on, your legs. Let's go. Good girl. Oh, my God. Good girl. Good girl. That's all right. The acid proof boots are up. Yeah, they're right. Let's get you for another move, mate. This side, fellas. Get a stick to the weapon. No, it's right out there. Ready to go again, mate. Come on, Alex. That's it. Time's up. No. First time riding across the road. How do you feel? Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> it's the most secure apprenticeship you can get. Because uh, spinning apprenticeships, you haven't got a guarantee of a job. He's grown up a lot. Besides height, he's, you know, filled out a lot and he's more mature too, I would say. Twelve months ago he left home a boy, now he's a man. I'm proud of him, I really am. An army apprenticeship can be the beginning of a challenging and exciting career. The opportunity is there, it's up to you.
Nee hoor.